I'm gonna do a quick little video log here. Uh, issue we having with this 2018 Jeep Renegade uh, 4x4 um, oil consumption. Uh, this has been a pretty prevalent issue as of recent. Um, pretty much been a problem since we had it. Truck's got 10,000 miles on it now and doesn't seem to be going away. Um, dealership, I feel like, is not being completely forthcoming with me and basically kind of giving me the runaround. But um, it uh, it's burning about three quarts of oil between changes from what I can see. Uh, first noticed it whenever we first got the truck back in September of 17. Uh, it, you know, we put about 2,800 miles on it and went to go on a road trip and, uh, out of town and it, um, I checked the fluids that morning before we left and it was like, you know, about halfway down on the hash marks and turned out to be like, you know, about two quarts low, not quite two quarts low of oil. So... I ran to town, bought some oil, topped it off, went on the trip, and then about 5,000 miles or so, a little over maybe, I took it to the dealership and just had it serviced. They recommend every 7,500 miles. I didn't go that far. And uh, so anyway, they changed it and, um, you know, uh, drove it you know up to about 9,000 miles and uh, I noticed my wife come in one day in it and the engine sounded a little clattery so I checked the oil and the oil was like way below the hash marks on the stick and it was like nearly out of oil and so I was just like you know what the hell so I contacted the dealership they said well bring it up here let us look at it brought it up there they looked at the oil level and they said well we need to do a consumption test so basically what they done was change the oil and told us to drive it for a thousand and so that's what we done and today i took it to the dealership and come to find out you know it was low below the the mark on the stick again uh because they what they done like i said they changed the oil and filled it back up they put a little mo paint marker mark on the stick and uh it was it was below that so basically again they tell me today well it's not that bad you know and i you know i said well it's not that good either you know so i said it's using oil it's a problem to me what are we going to do about it? And the guy, the service manager is like, uh, well, just drive it another thousand and let's see how, how bad it really is. So I'm thinking, well, how many thousands do you want to go before we admit that this son of a bitch is burning oil, you know, like a coal burning stove? I mean, you know, what, what the hell? I mean, it's got 10,000 miles on it, you know, and you're telling me that it's okay for it to burn oil. I mean, I, I don't, I don't get that. You know, this truck right here is uh, a 2000 model with a diesel engine in it, and it holds four gallons of oil, and it never leaks a drop of oil, never burns a drop of oil, and it's got 300,000 miles on it. This one's got 10,000 miles on it, and it's burning three quarts of oil between changes. You know, so what the fuck, Jeep? Come on. So, I mean, I don't see how this is not, you know, the dealership's responsibility or Chrysler's responsibility. It's certainly not mine, you know. It costs 70 bucks to change the oil in this thing. 70 bucks, okay. And then you mean, you mean to tell me between that time period, I've got to pour another 30 bucks worth of oil in it, you know. No. Come on, because that oil is $10 a quart. $10 a quart. So, I'm just throwing this out there that this is a problem, you know. And, 
just to prove my point, we'll look here. Let's see. Look at there. That's, you know, 10,500 uh, some odd miles. They told me to bring it back at, what is that? 10,000, I don't know if you can focus, 10,624 miles. It was like 50 some odd miles off of the thousand, you know, which shouldn't have made that much of a difference. But I'm going to show you the, the oil level on the dipstick. If I can get this hood open with one hand, have to forgive me with the camera here for a second. Let me put the dipstick up. I mean the dipstick. Mm. The hood prop. Oh. Okay. So I gotta get a grease rag. I got one in the back of my Honda. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. So we're gonna look at this oil and verify that today, which is June, what is it, June the 5th, 6th, I don't know, early June. Okay, so you see the little mark there on the stick. So I'm going to I'm gonna wipe this off because I just ain't been too long got back from town. So we're going to wipe it off. Sorry about the camera. Okay. So you see the see the mark. Okay, see the mark. Dipstick's clean. Okay, we're gonna put it back in. Check the oil. Push down all the way. Pull it out. And then look, as we can see that, that oil, look right there, is below. That paint mark. They were telling me today that that is a pint of oil. A pint of oil. I don't know. Maybe it's a pint. But it's hard to be hard for me to believe that it's a pint. Because last time when the oil level was down. It was down like to like here. When I had to buy the two quarts. And it took almost two quarts from here to fill it back up to the full mark, which is here. So, I don't see how this is a pint from here to here. You know, I I don't know. I don't know where they get their measurements from or who they think they're fooling. But, you know, regardless, I mean, it's, it's, it's burning oil and it's not right. It's not right. You know... I've never purchased a vehicle, you know, brand new that it's just acceptable for it to burn oil. Because that's what they're telling me is that Chrysler stipulates that any engine that they produce uh, that's got 55,000 miles or less is acceptable to burn a quart of oil every thousand miles. You know, and if it's got over 55,000, you know, 55,000 miles or over, it could burn a quart of oil every 750 miles. And I'm like, this guy's telling me this today. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I mean, so basically I've got to put $10 in this thing worth of oil every thousand miles. If that's like the worst case scenario. No, that is insane. You know, and if that's the case, it's like I asked the service manager today. I said, if that's the case then why was I not informed that before I purchased the vehicle? Don't you think that's pertinent information? That, well, you know, these are pretty good vehicles other than it may burn, you know, a quart of oil every thousand miles. You know, I mean, I'm already pissed off because they didn't divulge the fact that it didn't come with a spare tire. You know, that already pissed me off. It come with a fucking air pump. What good is that? You know, an air pump. You tear a hole in a tire. That ain't worth a damn, you know. Jesus. So I was already ill about that. So now I'm finding out, well, you know, Chrysler's saying, well, well, you know, it may burn a quart of oil every thousand miles, you know. Bullshit. I mean, this is ridiculous. This is a, you know, 
fairly, uh, you know, noticeable problem that I think that should be put out there for consumers. So, I mean, I'm just putting this out there as a video log, you know, so that I got some documentation about what's going on. But uh, this, in, like I said, this is the 2.4 liter multi-air non-turbo uh, naturally aspirated gas engine uh, 2018 Jeep Renegade 4x4 Upland so just putting this out there if by all means if anybody sees this and has this problem too with, with not just necessarily a Jeep because uh, I think this covers like the Dart I don't know what they put these things in I know some of the Cherokees, the Dart uh i think maybe like the what is that that dodge nitro i don't know but basically if you've got a 2.4 liter chrysler engine and it's burning oil let me know i just want to know just so i got some feedback and documentation you know i would appreciate it tobe here would appreciate it so just let us know Appreciate it. Thanks.